guys, my name is Bethany and if you don't know me, I am the Yogi Witch. We have really changed things up on my YouTube channel today by adding in a yoga flow that you can do completely at your office desk. Taking just a moment to appreciate the fact that I did move my desk from my office to my yoga space for this video. So this is a super quick, super simple, super easy flow. It only takes 15 minutes. You can do it at any point of your day at your desk. You don't need anything special, no props. Your desk and your chair are the only props you need. So when you're ready, I guess I will meet you at your desk. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, this is the yoga flow that's all based at your desk. When we sit at a desk for too long, especially if we don't have um, a chair that's designated for your back, so an orthopedic chair or anything like that, you can get very tight in your hamstrings, in your glutes, and in your lower spine. Your shoulders can become slumped from typing continuously, and it's just not good for our posture or for our mental health. Often those who work at office do tend to have higher stress levels, just because the lack of movement and the lack of endorphins released throughout the day can kind of increase feelings of stress, of anxiousness, of worry. So adding in a simple yoga routine, such as the one I'll be doing, can really improve your day. It only takes 15 minutes, you don't need any props, it's super simple. So to begin with, we're just gonna come, let me adjust my chair, <laughs> we're just gonna come all the way comfortable on our desk. I do recommend taking off your shoes up for this just to keep your feet grounded. However, if that's not possible, just keep your shoes on. Just coming to sit all the way back. So bringing your sit bones and your back of your spine all the way in to the chair. Inhale and exhale to roll back the shoulder, sitting tall here, taking your feet hips width apart and bringing your palms to face the sky. Just staying here for a moment. taking a few moments just to ground yourself, just to bring yourself into this flow, into the present moment, and to kind of tune out everything else that's going on in the world around you. Taking just a few moments to center yourself with your breathing. gently blinking the eyes open. You're going to bring your left hand down to the side and you're going to inhale to sweep your right arm all the way overhead and bring that over to the left side. You're going to keep your hand holding onto the chair here just to steady yourself but pushing back this right shoulder open up here. Inhale and exhale here for gently bringing the right hand down to the chair and sweeping the left arm overhead, taking the stretch on the other side to ensuring that we're opening the chest here. Inhale. And exhale here before releasing both hands down and then inhale, take both hands overhead and exhale, we'll twist the body to the left hand side, maybe taking your hand to the back of the chair or bring it down beside you. Inhale and exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. Your feet remain flat on the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, take the arms back overhead and exhale. We're going to twist to the other side. Recognizing now if you feel that you can twist a little bit deeper than you normally do in your yoga flows, the stability of the chair really boosts our confidence and our ability to get into poses. Beautiful. For inhaling, once again, taking the arms overhead, and we're going to use our left hand, place it on the right hand side of the head, and we're just going to gently guide it over to the side, maybe extending the arm and flexing the hand here. Get a 
beautiful tingling stretch from the top of our neck all the way down to our middle finger. Once again, inhale, put your arm, throw the arms overhead. Exhale, placing the hand on the left hand side of the head, so the right hand this time. Extending the arm, flexing here. Inhale, take both arms overhead and we're going to interlock the fingers now, taking them behind the head and we're going to inhale to open the shoulders to the side, really arching the spine here to create an open chest. Beautiful. And then exhale, we're going to bring those elbows together almost like magnets and we're going to forward fold the body all the way down. Take a moment here. And then we're going to work with our breath. So as we inhale, we lift the body up, open the elbows to the side. Open the chest here. And exhale, we bring the elbows in together, curving the spine all the way down. Maybe taking the legs further apart if you can go down further. Inhale, reaching the arms up, take the elbows to the side. Exhale, curve the spine, bring them in as you lower the body down. Inhale to bring the arms all the way up, arching that back, beautiful open chest to the sky. Exhale, curve the spine, bring them all the way down. And then final time, inhale to take the arms all the way. Extending those arms to the side before releasing them down, taking a few shoulder rolls. So moving in one direction and then moving and taking it in the other. And then we're just beginning begin to create some circles with our wrist here. Moving in one direction, moving in the other. Maybe flexing the hands or grabbing hold of your fingers and gently pulling them back here. If you're at a desk, maybe you're writing or typing all day. So your hands really do get neglected. So just giving them a finger stretch, stretching the inner wrist, stretching the palm. Before gently squeezing the hands all the way into a fist. Squeeze, 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 and release. Five more times, squeeze, release for four, three, Two, squeeze, and one. Beautiful. Shaking off the arms here. And now we're going to begin to stretch the hips. So bringing the left leg up onto the right. You're going to rest your left ankle on top of the right knee. Flexing this foot here. Coming into a figure of four. And you're just gently going to come to the edge of your seat. And you're going to gently push on this knee to get a hip stretch. Sitting straight as we do. In this beautiful stretch up the hamstrings and in the hips. For the legs in this foot to protect the knee. Breathing here. For gently bringing this left knee all the way into the chest, hugging it close here, point the toes and release left leg down, bringing the right up and making a stretch on the other side. So creating that figure of four, we bring our right ankle to rest off the left knee, flexing this foot to protect the ankle and gently pushing into the knee, but not forcing here, just a gentle little force, a gentle little push to stretch. Keeping our spine long. Bending the spine all the way to the chest, keeping the spine long as we hug it close. And then relaxing the feet down, bringing the body all the way up to the side, just moving the chair out to one way for a second. And then to create some little movement with the hips, 
maybe create circles, maybe aiming to create a figure of eight with the hips. Releasing any tension from the lower spine. And then to stretch the shoulders and to stretch the spine and the legs, basically a full body stretch, we're gonna come into a modified down dog. This is actually one of my favorite modifications to do, and it's one I often do when I'm working from home. So ensuring that chair is out of the way, you're gonna bring your palms to the desk, taking our feet hip width apart, coming back as further as you like, just so it gets comfortable. I recommend coming further back just to get a deeper stretch than coming in too close. So taking your feet further back, you're gonna inhale to look forward and exhale, gently gonna push back the hips, keeping the legs straight as you bring the head in between the shoulders. Once again, if you want a deeper stretch, you can walk the feet back. Stretching the shoulders here, keeping those legs straight, you get a lovely stretch of the hamstrings. If it's too much for your shoulders, then gently walk the feet back, curving the top of the spine here. As soon as you found your sweet spot, stay here. Just breathing through this stretch. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, curve the spine all the way up, and then exhale, we're going to arch it, lift the hips back up to the sky, and lower the chest, and we're going to create kind of a wave here, so inhale to curve the spine, exhale to curve, so inhale to curve the spine, exhale to arch. Closing the eyes here, imagine we're creating almost a wave ignoring the sounds of my creaky old desk and then when you're ready come back into a modified down dog and you're going to release the right hand maybe grabbing hold of the left leg to come to a twist bringing the right hand back to the desk left hand comes to the right leg coming to a twist And then gently come back to down dog. For curving the spine, release the hands, come all the way up to standing. Once again, taking some hip stretches. And as this is an office flow, so we're probably doing this in the, the day maybe, we're gonna add a little bit of mindfulness to prep some balance poses, poses with the help of maybe your chair or your desk. So we'll start on the right side. So bending the left knee, bringing the heel of the left foot into the ankle of the right. Or you can bring the foot all the way into your calf, holding onto the table here. If you want to go further, then maybe you begin to take your hands to prayer in the centre of your chest, finding a drishti and staying here. If you start to wobble, just take hold of the desk, even lightly with just one finger or holding onto it by a grip. Beautiful. And gently releasing the left leg down. Taking the street pose on the other side, so bringing maybe your right heel into your left ankle, maybe into the leg, holding onto the table. Finding your focus, finding your drishti. And if you feel okay, maybe you take your hands to heart center. Stay here. Once again, if you wobble, you can just bring your fingers to the desk or the chair, maybe gripping it, maybe just lightly touching it, anything to make you feel steady. releasing the right leg down, taking a few final hip rolls before we come back into our seat. And obviously we can't end the in a traditional way, but I'm on the back. 
but we are just going to release the energy. So inhaling to bring positive energy, exhaling to release negative. So as you inhale, you're going to bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And as you exhale, drop them down with force. Inhale to bring them up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, final time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, just drop them down. Blinking the eyes open, taking the hands to that day. Taking one last healing inhale through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. Smiling to yourself, feeling so much more centered, so much more rooted. Thank you for joining me on our office mat today. And I hope the rest of your day is positive, is peaceful and is full of happiness. I'll see you soon. Namaste.